So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thanks to Pawan and actually everyone who joined like any session. I missed some sessions, of course, but I, I looked at the recording later on. It was it was really helpful. And uh, what I would I would start since I have like few minutes. So I will summarize. Uh, it's it's like I, when I talk to recruiters. <laughs> so I have to summarize everything what I have uh, done like in in all my journey. So I have done my half of my research in India, and uh, and and then after that I moved for a PhD in Europe, Sweden, and and I stayed there for five to six years, and then moved to uh, United States Washington University, Saint Louis, um, last year in February. So actually, before moving uh, from like between Sweden to US, I was in India for maybe uh, I would say eight eight months, and uh, I was thinking that I would not continue for a postdoc uh, as a first postdoc because I mean I, I knew that I mean I, I don't want to continue after just after my PhD and I wanted to be like in industry and there was some family reason that uh, I my wife could not get a visa for Sweden so I was stayed at, I was stuck and stayed in in India so I thought okay let's no problem let's explore in India and when I applied for a job of course COVID hits just after a few months and uh, uh, I, I, I got few referrals. I, I tried to make like my own effort, but it, it was not worth. And I, I can tell you like very short once like few jobs I got and I don't know, they were giving me a very less money. It's, it's like they were using, they, they, they were using. And then, I mean, we discussed a lot and I said, okay, I will, I will take your team and push to the high level because I know this, this ex I have this experience. And at then when, when it comes to money, they say, okay, we are a startup and we will give you 30,000. I mean, come on, what is that? So uh, I, I, I said, okay, I will think and then let you know. And since I was, and it was a good profile. So still I was kind of confused, but anyway, I said, no, let's, let's do something else. So I, and, that guy also said that uh, this position is we are not recruiting anymore and so this was also strange for me and then okay let's i thought okay let's let's do postdoc uh, and go to us maybe they have like better opportunities for industry so i came to us as a mindset like i will transition into industry so of course i when you come there you kind of try to settle down it takes time um, like 5 6 months and then, of course, I, I got to know about uh, 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 Pawan. And since he worked in WashU, so uh, I knew actually before joining uh, uh, the session. So, and I thought, okay, let's let's join the the this this content course and which is very helpful for transition. And uh, what I would say in short, the content uh, was really helpful. So when I say helpful, meaning that now when I apply for, uh, when I made the LinkedIn profile and CV and uh, uh, talk to the recruiter, these contents, makes me you know really helpful and the discussion not the content actually the discussion that you guys we do together it, it makes really good sense and and uh, i got like a positive response from uh, from of course few of them not from all so i think two weeks or three weeks back i got a interview and i'm on j1 visa uh because of this conversation i got uh, a call like i mean it was a presentation the last round and i'm just waiting for their responses, they were really, so the, the person, he was senior uh, director or something like that in a company and she was really impressed with my presentation, with my talk. So, and it was like two and a half hour discussion after my presentation, they were really helpful. And uh, they were also happy that, uh, uh, I mean, after discussing with my presentation and all. So I'm waiting for, response and of course there are other interviews line up next week also one more interview so i think it's going going on well in short and it's it's amazing and helpful and in like uh, in the process of improvement the uh, the course what i would suggest i don't know it's a suggestion or it's my thought is is like uh, how to how to analyze the uh, linkedin profile Let, let's say uh, pre-clinical development or clinical development or or, or or genomic profile like how 
I mean, if there is a session like once one more session or two more session, just talking about the profile, which are kind of top priority profile for in vitro and drug and these like take like five top profile and discuss that how we gonna um, how we will save if we, this if you look at this profile. I think if we can add just more emphasis on the specific few profiles. That would be amazing from like, well, this is what I think. But otherwise, this uh, benefit session last last session was amazing. That helped me. It helped me in the uh, uh, in the in, in the in the last session when I had with recruiters. So I mean, I would say all the sessions are really helpful, amazing and uh, people are amazing.